Did someone order food? <laughs> What's up guys? Zach Hample here at PNC Park in Pittsburgh for the second straight day. And it's not nearly as cold as it was yesterday for the home opener when it snowed. That was pretty crazy. But as for today, there is early entry. So I'm really looking forward to getting inside for a lot of batting practice, hopefully catching a bunch of balls before this game even starts. And then Andrew McCutcheon still going for his 300th career home run. So a lot of stuff in the works, including this food about to go into my belly at the gate while I wait for this place to open. So let's get to it. Sure. Thank you so much. Are you sure of this? Oh, yeah, he was born. 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 He was this place opens. See, there's all kinds of activity that sometimes we don't get to show on YouTube when we're just like focused on running in and catching all the balls, which we are still going to do any moment. Thank you. So much activity already. Pirates are out there playing catch. The Orioles are out in the right field corner. And looks like the Pirates are doing infield outfield. So where to first? killed my videographer on that one. Thank you for not killing my videographer. Thank you very much. Check it out. A roll this Chapman on an actual paper ticket for today. Very rare. Good to see you, Cabo. How you doing? I'm doing great. It's Ben Carhart. It's me. The man. No, he's the man. How can I be the man when he's the man? <laughs> we had all four seasons yesterday, yesterday's game. Winter, summer, and then it snowed again. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yenir Cano. Try to sneak one behind you. <laughs> All right, a little overthrow action. Do you want me to sign this? Yeah, you can get it anyway. There you go. Appreciate it. No, absolutely. Getting inside early today has been great. I've gotten three baseballs and I've also gotten five autographs. I found a ticket yesterday on the ground during the game, and then I actually got two paper tickets today. And I'll just show you all three of these right here if you can get a nice close-up look. At the very top, we have Aroldis Chapman. And then I got a few Orioles on the one down below, Yanir Cano, Grayson Rodriguez, and Cole Irvin. And then on the bottom right here, this is Craig Kimbrell. I've been a fan of his for a long time. And 
there was a period of time when he just would not throw me baseballs because he knows who I am and I just was having a conversation with him about it and he was like, yeah, you got enough of them, but he was not being rude about it at all. He was very cool. And I told him that I've snagged 96 lifetime game home runs and I'm going for 100. And he was like, well, I'm gonna try to stay away from adding to that total. And I'm like, fair enough. So just really cool guy. Um, I love the Orioles this year and I've always loved Kimbrel, so it's nice to see him playing for this team. He got the save yesterday. And just if you follow me this way for a sec, um, you can kind of see in the background, the Orioles are doing infield practice. So I'm gonna creep over in that direction, maybe get another ball from them. And then hopefully they start taking BP. The Pirates, I guess they're just not hitting at all. So uh, yeah, that's the situation for right now. Just what a fun day. Well, the first group of Orioles BP is in the books and their batters did hit a bunch of balls into the seats, but nothing near me. And it took right until the end of that group for me to get on the board. A very long home run landed on the last staircase out towards center field, rattled around a bit and I was able to grab that one. So that feels good. Always nice to get batted balls. I don't just want to get toss ups all day. It's, it's still fun, but not as fun. And so second group is going, it looks like there's a couple of righties up there. So I may stay in this area. Is this guy throwing the ball? No. Uh, but yeah, another fun day here. Sucked. I thought I had it all the way, but at the very last second, if you take another look at it, you can see that a fan right in front of me reached up with his bare hand and deflected it just enough that it messed me up. And batting practice ended soon after that, so I got four baseballs, which is pretty good, but not an amazing total. And you know, as gorgeous as this stadium is, it can be quite a challenge to catch baseballs when it's even slightly crowded because there just aren't that many rows of seats in the outfield. So even with just a few dozen fans also competing, it's hard to find space to move around. But as always, great vibes here, and I just can't get over this weather. I'm bundled up yet again, but it's actually feeling rather comfortable in the sunlight. And so game time now is less than half an hour away. You want the bad news first or the good news first? Let's get the bad news out of the way, ready? The bad news is that Andrew McCutcheon is not playing. Boo! So that sucks. The good news, I mean, it's not really news, but I just want to give 
a proper shout out to my friends over at a website called mygameballs.com, which is one of my favorite websites. It's kind of like, I describe it as Facebook for ball hawks. I have a profile there. I log all the baseballs that I snag at games, as do many of my friends and other ball hawks across the country. So if you're already on mygameballs.com, you know, golf clap for you. And if you're not, check it out. Consider making a profile and logging your own stats. It's really a cool community. And uh, yeah, just wanted to say that. They're not paying me, but they're cool and the website is cool. So uh, that's about it for now. And we'll see what happens before the game. And even with Kutch not playing, I'll be on home run duty. Look at that. Oh, hey, this one is newer. I think I might keep it. Immortalize this song. Photograph of the flag of the We will see it. That was Joey Bart in his very first at-bat with the Pirates. Rushed 410 feet to left center to put his team on top 3-0. And right now this game has moved on to the fourth inning. A lot of standing around for me in this walkway in left field. Difficult at times for me to see the action and for my videographer to see the action. And so just to change things up and to give you a different perspective, my videographer is going to head up there for a little bird's eye view action. Well, the Orioles are finally getting things going without even getting a hit. Austin Hayes had an RBI ground out and then Cedric Mullins with a sack fly. So top of the seventh right now, Orioles have trimmed the Pirates lead to three to two. And you know, I'm just still chilling down here. And you can see that it is pretty crowded. My videographer is uh, right up there. So. I guess we're just gonna keep things going like this. And it looks like the third out is about to happen behind me.
after a roll this Chapman pitched a scoreless eighth inning. Man, I figured the Pirates were going to wrap things up with this guy coming into the game in the ninth. David Bednar, a local hero who was born in Pittsburgh, not to mention a two-time All-Star. And I was so into it that I just wanted to watch. And so with the sun beating down on the left field bleachers, I grabbed a seat briefly so I could chill and get a good look at the action. And Bednar, man, he just did not have it today. He allowed several guys to reach base. And with the Orioles trailing by one run, Cedric Mullins got it done again without a hit coming up with a ground ball to tie the game on a bang-bang play at the plate. Now, this game ended up going into extra innings. And listen, if there are any idiots who claim that baseball is boring, everything that happened from that point on proves otherwise, all right? In the 10th inning, both teams scored. And somehow, with the bases loaded and nobody out in the bottom of the 10th, the Orioles managed to get out of it. And then in the bottom of the 11th, on a line drive to left center, Cedric Mullins made a diving catch to save the game. And then on the very next play, O'Neill Cruz ripped a line drive single to right field, which sent Henry Davis flying around the bases. And that was it, the game winner. And man, did the players ever celebrate. Nice to see that kind of excitement early in April. So you can just imagine how crazy things are gonna get later in the season. And you know what? Lost in all of that commotion is the fact that Pirate starter Bailey Falter had a tremendous performance today, throwing six scoreless innings and only allowing one hit. So, you know, it's too bad he ended up with a no decision, but this was truly a full team effort. Final score today, Pirates 5, Orioles 4. And as for me, well, I'm back up in this spot where my videographer was posted up all game, and I gotta say, pretty awesome. So four baseballs for me, matching my total from yesterday. So feeling pretty good about that. Would have been a lot better if the Pirates actually took BP, but hey, that's just how it goes. So including the balls that I gave away, that brings a lifetime total to 12,441. So that's it. Just a magnificent stadium and a magnificent baseball game. Thank you guys so much for watching.